Hi everyone, this is Mike Schwartz from Glue, and today I wanted to record a quick demo of the Glue server's new FIDO U2F features. So I, I happen to have some FIDO U2F devices handy. You might recognize this one. This is a, a U2F um, enabled YubiKey. Um, actually, where uh, on my um, keys, I, um, I have another YubiKey. Um, it's sort of hard to see it. It's, it's small. It's also um, a USB. It also plugs in USB. I have it attached to a little swivel so I can pull it out um, of the computer. And I acquired a, another one, another FIDO device um, at a conference. Um, this one is called HyperFIDO. Um, and it has a little, a little button on it. You can press that button. Clicks. Um, so... Um, the good news is is that there's a number of, of YouTube, U2F devices um, that you can you can get now and and um, looks like they're becoming more and more available. So, okay, so how do you configure U2F in the Glue server? Um, let me give a quick demo of how it works first. So, let's say we protected an OpenID Connect application um, with the Glue server and we've enabled U2F authentication. So in our, in our default install, we use um, the first step is username and password. So it's a two-step authentication. This is step one. And then in the second step, it says, OK, now use your, um, I'm going to touch the button or touch my um, U2F device. And, and this sends the, um, you know, the, the challenge response so that the, the glue server knows that it was me. Um, if the Actually, the, the uh, user experience is the same, whether it's enrollment or authentication. So if I was enrolling my device for the first time, after I password authenticated and hit the button, it would enroll the device. So subsequently, I'd need to prevent, present that same U2F device to, to authenticate. So this, uh, this is Oxtrust. It's the policy administration point for the Glue server. Um, as I mentioned, it's also an OpenID Connect relying party, so it, it's it's convenient to demo on. Let me show you how I um, how I set up U2F authentication. It was really really easy. Um, we're shipping also um, with the U2F um, a custom U2F authentication script. So this is there when when you um, install the Glue server. You know you do app get install Glue server. Um, it won't be enabled by default, so you have to click this little box, enable it, and save it. And um, if you, if you want to test it, um, what you can do is um, you can set the default authentication mechanism to U2F, and then use Oxtrust itself for testing. Um, so um, to set um, the default authentication mechanism um, in under um, authentication. Um, there's this default authentication mode, and I can select U2F, hit update. So that's basically all you have to do. You know, check enabled, and and then um, set the default authentication mechanism, and you'll have U2F um, up and running. Okay, well, I hope that's useful. Um, thanks a lot for listening.